lack of activity destroys the good cognition of every human being, while movement and methodical physical exercise save it and preserve it. That is a quote by Plato. Stress, anxiety, depression, self-esteem, confidence, better mood, and even to help defend off diseases and illnesses. What if I told you all that can be either dealt with or boosted by doing one simple thing, going out and getting physical exercise? There have been countless scientists and professors that have gone out and discovered by testing how good it is to get 30 to 60 minutes of exercise each day. And even me and myself have discovered these effects just by being in sports or going out and being active. Going out and getting 30 to 60 minutes of exercise each day consistency, consistently will have countless benefits on your mind and body. Many people say it is very hard to find things to do or they can't find something that they like. And I say that is false. With almost an infinite amount of things to do that will incorporate you into physical activity, you should have no problem getting 30 to 60 minutes each day. And who knows, you might find it helping you in areas that you have never known before. Before I get into my main points, I will address the questions and answers from my survey I gave to all of you. A handful of my questions had to deal with the time and just being physically active in general. The first question I asked was, how much do you get of physical activity each day? 86% of you answered with around 60 minutes, while the rest were more around 30 minutes, which isn't bad. The second question I asked is, what do you believe is a good amount of exercise to get each day? 70% of you said 60 or more, and the other 30% were again around 30 minutes. Finally, I asked, what and how do you plan on being physically active now in school and out of school? And a handful of the questions were all basically around the same area of either go jog or for a run each day, get a gym membership and go there, lift, or something along those lines. Physical activity is important, but just like anything, you have to put the time in to get, it, like, to get the worth of it. That may sound scary, but trust me, it isn't as bad as you think. A quote by Carrie Murray, Grant Schofield, and Christina Capricone in their article, Physical Activity, Dose Response Effects on Mental Health Status in Adults, say, it was shown that participants classified as moderately active, which is 150 to 420 minutes a week of exercise, and highly active people, what is greater than 420 minutes a week, displayed significantly higher mental health status than those who were classified as inactive, which is less than 150 minutes a week, when controlling for physical activity status. Everyone has time. There's 24 hours in a day. If you can take at least one out of that to put in the physical exercise, you're still left with 23 hours a day to do whatever you want. All it takes is an hour and you will see improvements. But you may be asking, what are these improvements? With so many benefits, Anna Eva Rodriguez, Bravo, Angel De Juanes, and Francisco Javier Garcia Castillo talked about in their article, Effects of Sports and Leisure Activities on Young People's Psychological Well-Being. They say, more specifically, regularly performed physical activities are associated with high levels of life satisfaction, quality of life and happiness, develop and develops of enjoyable, balanced life. In turn, performing physical activity through frequent and regular sport programs or independent activities are related to improvements not only in your well-being, but also in your mental health, anatomy, your memory, your body image, optimism, emotional clarity, and mental flexibility. Along with all those, Stuart J. H. Biddle, Ken Fox, and Steve Boucher say in their article, Physical Activity and Psychological Well-Being. They go on to talk about how being physically active has so many benefits. The main ones are improvements in anxiety, depression, mood, emotion, cognitive function, and psychological, and improvements in psychological dysfunction. These are all said, these are all good, but wait, there's more. Peter Newman says, says in, his, in his article, psychological aspects of physical activity. He says physical, physical activities can help you in achieving your goals, becoming more compliant, achieving mastery, having increased social desirability, developing self-presentation strategies, and developing social reinforcement. 
Most people understand these benefits from exercise, but if these reasons don't make you want to go out and start exercising, I have two more that might flip the switch. The first thing you may have not known is it can help you do better in your academic career and your schooling. Alicia L. Ferber and Soyan An say in their article, the effects of physical activity and physical fitness on children's achievements and cognitive outcomes. They say, the study was a comprehensive quantitative synthesis of literature using 59 studies from 1947 to 2009 for analysis. The results indicate a significant and passive effect of physical activity on children's classroom, act classroom achievements and cognitive outcomes, with aerobic exercises being the main ones. So when they say aerobic exercise, they basically mean like jogging, running, biking, basically anything somebody can do on a, bait, like a regular basis. And they also talk about how they use studies from the past, so that just adds on to the support. Oh, another one is, it can also push off debt. Gerald F. and a bunch of other authors, so let's say et al., wrote in their article, Promoting Physical Activity and Exercise. They say physical inactivity is one of the leading modifiable risk factors for global mortality with an estimate 20 to 30% increased risk in death compared to those who are physically active. So as you can see, being physically active can even push off death, and 20 to 30% is a big like amount. So with all these benefits and helpful things, you cannot how can you not consider being physically active? As you've learned, getting 30 to 60 minutes a day can have all sorts of benefits, and even some that you never thought would happen. With all the choices and time you have during a day from 24 hours to the infinite amount of choices like I said earlier, you should have no trouble finding an activity and getting the right amount that you want. So the next time you think to yourself, should I do that activity, remember all the effects I have told you today, and don't forget to put the time in and stay consistent. Thank you for listening to my speech.